Hi, I'm Charlie Greenberg, the Director of Business Development at Data Foundations, and welcome to another of our webinar presentations on challenges and best practices in data management. Today, we'll be discussing enterprise information management for the insurance industry, and we're happy that we're joined by Netrix, who's our co-sponsor for this event, as well as a Data Foundation's technology partner. We will be discussing Netrix and their powerful matching and cleansing engine. But first, I'll just take a few moments to introduce once again Data Foundations and our data management platform called OneData. Uh, we provide a solution that addresses any kind of shared enterprise-wide data, and we take that to be master data, reference data, metadata as an organization. We go back to 1998, which makes us a pioneer in the master data and reference data space. One data, as I mentioned before, is a single product platform that effectively manages all shareable enterprise data, supports operational and analytical master data, multi-domain master data, uh, multiple styles of MDM, including transactional, consolidated, and hybrid, as well as reference data and shared metadata. We are proven at a number of large customer organizations, as I'm sure many of them would attest to. Stuff happens. Stuff happens to people and people's possessions. The business case, the value proposition for true and accurate data, and reporting for the insurance industry is clear enough. Collected data determines the correct amount of coverage, the accuracy of premiums, rate increases, and the proper implementation of terms and conditions. The point of entry for new data, whether introduced through producers, call centers, or via e-commerce, is ideally subject to very specific standards. It has to be because the volume of transactions is exceedingly dynamic and is subject to regulatory change and new legal requirements. So, what happens when we're talking about so much critical data that is vulnerable to inaccuracies? Inaccuracies such as mismapped claim codes or tables with different interpretations of deductibles, different versions for the name or address of a body shop where your broken down car was just towed. Now we have a problem, one of efficiency, cost overruns, and ultimately one of diminishing customer satisfaction. So look at our landscape of different systems. Let's stipulate that each system is sending out data in the same format. Let's say it even looks the same. But what happens when the meaning is different? Which is to say, we may be looking at the same address, but in our claim system, we see it in the address field, and in our invoicing system, the same info appears in the contact name. So what's the standard? I may be able to prove that my invoice system has the absolutely correct data for a particular customer, but does it have the correct data for all customers? Once the different shapes of data have proliferated across an SOA bus, we don't necessarily know. And if a new contract system, for example, is introduced into the environment and is looking for a source of information, for instance, producers and distributors, which system would provide it with the most accurate or true or gold data? The data warehouse? Probably not. It's an issue of integration, so let's cite a number of modes and concepts that in some form aid in data integration. Based on our understanding and experience, we've seen a number of these solutions being implemented, such as metadata repositories to manage format conversions and meanings of existing data assets, standardized terminology and vocabulary, companies who incorporate a solid enterprise data architect framework for cohesive data interchange, or implement a unified approach to the consolidation and management of master data, put in place the tools for centralized code set management, ensure compliance to industry or external standards such as Accord. A company-wide data quality initiative along with related tool sets to enable profiling and monitoring compliance. 
data governance created and supported from a top-down and a bottom-up approach. And the utilization of taxonomies and classifications. All of these integration solution options tend to be as effective as the data management maturity of an organization and also its vision of data management in general. Let's look at a typical paradigm and examine an integration challenge by using the example of policy type. By the way, as a software provider, we've embraced Accord as an industry standard, so examples here will be utilizing the Accord standard nomenclature and terminology as in policy type, which, as you know, refers to the band or extent of coverage. In this example, let's say we have three systems sharing the same data values but expressing them in different structural terms. Let's apply domain analysis to these three systems. Now we understand that policy type actually consists of claim policy type and reporting policy type and that claim policy type can be further segmented into policy group type. The resulting data enhancement is represented by the purple cylinder. The enriched data of the purple cylinder now becomes the best push-pull source for the three original systems and, in turn, becomes the mechanism by which the three original systems can actually and successfully interchange data. The internal standard code set is also mapped to the Accord standard to enable data interchange both internally as well as externally. Returning to the term data management maturity, we have some thoughts on what the journey to data management maturity might actually look like. Here's level one. On the maturity journey, it looks like the first part of the last slide. You have different systems, and you need to understand, take inventory, not only of the data within a particular system, but also of the commonality it shares with other systems ultimately consolidating it into a system or enterprise data model. You would need a technical metadata repository providing visibility into the current data assets. Level two is about building the syntactic structure around enterprise data. It is a level where an organization is managing its need for data interchange using point-to-point -point interfaces. Minimally, there has to be format compatibility in order to interchange data. Now it's time to coalesce the business meaning, the business metadata around syntax and structure. The semantic meaning of the business data now enables us to assign data management custodianship, write relevant business rules and business processes. We are defining the standard terms and definitions and not enhancing the current assets to determine their meaning. A standard layer is difficult to build as it has to accommodate for a harmonized view. Level 4 says that we've matured enough, done enough work in terms of assessing our basic IT requirements through assessing data inventory, data structure or syntax, and its business meaning that we can move forward or step back in a way to see the bigger picture in terms of domains and shareable entities. We've graduated to an environment which is flexible, responsive to change, it's conducive to sharing data in a timely manner. As far as the business is concerned, the approach is powerful enough to ensure efficiency and cost effectiveness. So break out the champagne. But wait, we need the implementation of good governance and change management to support our best practices and efforts and ensure ongoing data quality. In other words, you may have a great car, but you're still required to follow the rules of the road. Let's discuss this from the perspective of an all-encompassing data management framework. As I mentioned, our presentation utilizes the Accord standard. So not only will we reference their code set terminology and industry vocabulary, we're also using their functional and technical metadata terminology. 